in a scenario in which North and South Africa go to war. And by South Africa, I do not mean South Africa, I mean South Africa. And then North Africa. I should have called it Northern versus Southern Africa, not North versus South Africa. That probably is not as good of a name. But anyways, let's go to it. And this is where South and North Africa go to war. And yeah, I, this is what the map looks like. With I'm only getting South Sudan because it's South. South Sudan. Here, oh, South Sudan. Definitely South. South Sudan. 100% Southern. Definitely not Central. Well, well, Central. There's one advance from South Sudan. I'm going to let the blue team advance first since Sudan... Ethiopia, Egypt, Nigeria, Algeria, Morocco are powerful. And here they have, I guess, the DRC, Sudan, not Sudan, South Africa, Angola, and maybe Tanzania. What the Central African Republic being pushed against? But, unfortunately, South Sudan unfairly got put on the wrong team. And while on multiple fronts there are pushbacks. Now, I like this more. Look at the front lines. It looks more like a mapping video animation. With them going into Somalia. Well, this is just great. They just went into Somalia. As a Somalia will stand long. But Ethiopia sends its forces in. With Kenya succeeding well. But this is about the end with in South Sudan a big advance comes. by Ethiopia and Sudan. But the first counterattack in Central Africa happens in the south. With Ethiopia slowly being invaded because it's a mountain. And I hope you guys liked the video I had yesterday about the states collapsing and how that would impact the world. And yeah. There's going to be no video on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so remember that. You can catch up on videos you missed on Tuesday and Thursdays. With the advance into Central Africa going really well. To a point where Sudan has decided to set up a defensive right here along with Central Africa. But Ethiopia has set up a defensive right here. With good news happening for this team as they, as the red team has put their defensive along here. And here yeah, as well. It's a good area. But there's one spot that there will be advances, just to let you know. Well, fortunately, all of us yellow is in blue. And that's in red. Well, that, as you can see, those few offensives will be slowed. But as these forces make it to a very good defensive. And I think I saw somewhere like here. But unfortunately, you know where there hasn't been good defenses? Where they where there is an offensive happening now. Which will happen 
trying to hold Cameroon. Well, quickly, the blue team manages to break some defensive lines. Angolan forces are coming to the front line. And they break through front lines here. As the invasion goes to here. Which they continue to try and take out this area. Really well as they start moving up to here. And while this offensive goes really well. But they start breaking through Nigeria's border. Like pow pow. And they head towards Lago. With Nigerian forces. Even if Nigeria does lose its coast. As a... Try and take Legos, which goes to success. They're okay. Their south is the most strategically important. But in case you didn't know, their capital is right there. So that's pretty good. That's strategic. If anybody invades you, it's big distance. Would you guys agree? I hope you guys do. With them moving into the coast here. But this limits them from further expansion up. Kinda. They can't send too many forces here. And well, they get there. And many countries say, why? But, just to let you know, a ginormous defensive has been built around this area. By both sides. Now the stalemate in Ethiopia changing. This is one of the first changes to the war. As Ethiopia starts a big offensive. Which they make it to here, and then they quickly offensive going so well, they manage to kick Kenya almost out of their country entirely. Well, now they knock it out. Well, I'm starting their an offensive here, and there, and there, and now they're right across borders. They tell their allies, which quickly Ethiopia focuses on this area. But then they build. So Ethiopia sees that their best bet is to build an offensive defensive here, right? Not all the way up. That's a bad idea. But not all the way up because that would hinder its ability to connect this front with... And then South Sudan's front here with Sudan, Su, Sudan's forces crossing. Sudanese forces cross. Are them even crossing into Uganda? Now this being a huge moment, with Nigeria getting its forces competent again, they pull off the first encirclement. There hasn't really been naval fighting, though. With these forces getting much crumbling. And this is how it goes as they encircle this pocket. With them managing to continue to hold some land, but not really. With this encirclement going bad as it is wiped out. With Nigerian forces headed here. Headed here strong. And Nigeria ready to get revenge for having its country burned. Its coast burned. With them swarming this, these lands. With them ready to teach Angola a lesson. With them taking the DRC's coast and moving into Angola aggressively. With this allowing Ethiopia to break some, break it, passing through their 
defensive. Yeah, nobody's a traitor today. Wouldn't it be crazy if there was a traitor that I'm trying to hide from you guys in this video? Millette, if you want a traitor, why are they avoiding crossing the border there? It seems weird. With countries like Zambia and Tanzania seeing a better side, they join it. Okay, there wasn't a traitor. I told you guys there's two traitors. Well, I'm really helping a lot. Especially with offensive actions under the DRC. I guess the East African Federation dream is gone. Yeah. What well, if I'm even moving down here? And the weakness of the blue team being of that. That they are then pushed fully out of North Africa. Why do they push them out? That's being that of Nigerian forces. Algerian, Moroccan, Egyptian, and Sudanese forces cross through here, along with Central Africans. I guess that's something. And Chadians. No, not Chad. Just Chads. One of them crossing here, Nigerian forces readying for an offensive up to the capital, which they take two capitals at once. Kinshasa and whatever the other one is next door. And well... And then go up in trouble. Nigerian forces here head for an encirclement of the DRC. And the DRC is unable to, but the DRC were just unable to stand. They fall. But South Africa, the leader of this team, in a state of despair. They actually sign peace with the red team. And then switch sides, seeing this as their best bet. Which infuriates its former allies in this alliance. Yeah, you really need to pick someone you can trust. Just saying. Well, there has to be some Italy's in every war. It just makes sense. An Italy? Yeah. With Namibia's foggy coast being taken. Wait, what? With Nigerian forces continuing their coastal aggressive siege, which leads coasts useless. With I personally did not go in thinking I was going to make South Sudan trade the leader. South Africa was the trader. I mean, not South Sudan. If South Sudan was all the way there, wouldn't it wouldn't be South South Sudan. And well, this happens. With Mozambique collapsing. What? And then they just go through French lands to get to Madagascar. With Madagascar falling and the lemurs putting their white flags up. Well, that being the end of 
the world. No, I'm kidding. But if this war, if wars could happen as often as they do in Wild Mapper videos, well, we wouldn't have a world. Just saying. And for the Treaty of Addis Ababa, which includes Everay there. But it's the capital of Ethiopia, I think I'm saying it right. Nigeria got land, and South Sudan took all that. And Central Africa took all of that, although they were on South Africa's team. So now there's Central African Federation in Central Africa. Yeah, South Sudan, Madagascar got no punishment, but why did Nigeria take that? Because they could. And that's all for today's video. You should really consider doing something. It's on a red button, and it's white. You should subscribe. This is your goal for today. Subscribe. Like. See, you should sub, like. Calm. You should comment. You know what you should do to this video? Share it. And leave a smiley face. And that's all for today's video. Please like and subscribe. Please like. And that's it for today's video. Please like, subscribe, comment, share this video, and leave a smiley face if you can't figure out what to comment. And that's all for today's video. Please like and subscribe. As it's time for Wild Mapper to be gone.